everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today's lesson is on prime and composite numbers. Well, what do we mean by prime and composite? Well, let me first give you some definitions. Prime, we're talking about factors here. Prime numbers only have two factors. They have the number one, and they have itself. That's prime. Composite have three or more factors. All right, let's see what this actually looks like in real life. So let's look at the numbers between 1 and 10 and figure out which numbers are prime and which numbers are composite. Let's start with the number 1. How many factors are of the number 1? Or does the number 1 have? It only has one factor, 1, right? 1 times 1 is 1. So there we go. I'm going to put a 1 there. Is 1 prime or composite? It's neither. Good catch. Because I said prime has two factors and composite has three or more. So prime is, or one is neither prime nor composite. Let's take a look at two. What are the factors of two? They're one and two. So is two prime? Yes, it is. Let's circle it. Okay, move on to three. Three, the, factor, the factors of three are one and three. Does that make it prime? Yes, it does. Wonderful, keep it moving. What about four? The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Well, since it has three, at least three factors, that makes it composite. So I think I'm going with blue for that one. 4 is a composite number. And let's try 5. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5, which makes it prime. You've got the hang of this. Let's go to 6. Up here, 6. Well, factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6, which makes it composite. That's right. Blue for that. And number 7. The factors are 1 and 7, which makes it prime. What about 8? Now, Lee, notice something about even numbers. Even numbers are always going to be composite because, except for 2 because they always have a 2 as a factor. So there we go, that's another composite number. How about the number 9? Well, we've got 3 in there as a factor, so we know that's got to be composite. And 10 has to be composite as well, because as I said earlier, all even numbers over past the number 2 are composite. Now we could go on and on and on, you know, we could look at numbers past 10 and again determine if they're prime or composite. And again, the easy rule is prime has two factors, one and itself. Composite has three or more factors. And that's it. Prime and composite numbers. Pretty easy. All right, make sure you try some practice problems, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.